do you have a taste for pizza right now? Well, sometimes I do too. But what if I told you that Domino's is actually paying customers a tip to go pick up their orders? Well, let's get into it. Hello everyone, this is Lodge with the Rideshare Guy. And yes, you heard me correctly in the intro video. In select places, Domino's Pizza is actually paying customers a tip to go pick up their order instead of having it delivered. Now, many speculate, and I'm in this camp too, that this is to help deal with the driver shortage that's going on in the pizza delivery industry. So it'd be a lot easier for Domino's if you as a customer would go and pick up your food instead of them having to assign it to a driver because there's a driver shortage. This brings up an interesting dynamic because we gotta ask this question. Why are they having a hard time retaining drivers? And why are they having a hard time even hiring drivers? Well, I can sum it up in one phrase, in my opinion, and that is the gig economy. When you take a look at Uber Eats and DoorDash and uh, Grubhub, these platforms are offering around about the same bit of money, maybe even a little more in a lot of markets. And not only is that the case, but they offer something that a lot of people are just hungry for, which is having control over your schedule. So many people, when it comes to driving food from point A to point B, they immediately evaluate, okay, well, I could deliver for Domino's Pizza or I can deliver for Uber Eats, DoorDash, etc. Many people are picking the gig economy. This in turn looks like it's causing Domino's to come up with ulterior ways of uh, dealing with the problem, i.e. incentivizing customers to pick up their orders for a tip. Now, the way my brain works is uh, instead of doing that, why don't they just put those resources towards uh, increasing uh, employee pay, driver pay? That's how my mind works, but uh, I guess that's definitely a last resort for them. But we're going to check out your comments on both Facebook and our YouTube community tab where we ran this situation by y'all and we're going to see what y'all had to say about it. So Ryan off of Facebook says it's not about the three dollar tip. If customers realize how much cheaper it is to do pickup, they will rarely order delivery. Domino's in my area charges five ninety nine plus a four dollar tip. That's an extra ten dollars on for two OK pizzas. The price almost double. He brings up a good point, but uh, in my opinion, I think people are just uh, lazy and um, I'm not singling anyone out. I'm lazy too when I order food and uh, they will always be a portion of the population that's always going to want delivery. But he brings up a good point that if they keep incentivizing pickup, people will just kind of realize that that's an option because some people, it doesn't click that they could go pick their pizza up instead of having it delivered. Tyler says they would rather pay the customer than a third party delivery platform. This shows how against they are with food delivery companies. Also a big smack in the face to those companies. And I already got my $3 from them, did a pickup last week. So he's saying that they do not want to use the third party platform as a means of delivering their pizzas. They're going to do whatever they can to avoid that scenario. For those of y'all that don't know, some of the pizza places like uh, Papa John's, for instance, actually do use DoorDash and Uber Eats and these food delivery platforms to deliver their pizza in addition to their own employees. And um, he's saying that Domino's is strictly against that route. They're going to do whatever they can to avoid that situation, which includes paying customers for a tip to pick it up. That's a pretty unorthodox solution, if you ask me. But um, I think the solution is to either use those third, third party platforms or to start paying their drivers more. I mean, clearly there are funds available for this so i guess that's why it's been in this way michelle says interesting marketing here could have marketed it as a discount for picking up which works because you deter from the expenses of delivery vehicles i like to spend here that is indeed true they could have just said that but uh saying that we'll pay you to pick up the food Definitely gets more headlines and more attention. So I would I will say that's pretty good marketing. So Thomas says it's a gimmick to get you to order their garbage a second time. You don't get three dollars until your next order. So Thomas is saying that, you know, this is pretty much a credit on your next order. So it's not really them paying for you to pick it up because I mean, they would give you three dollars in cash. No, they're giving you three dollars off your next order. So like Michelle said, this is just another version of marketing a discount or a free credit on your next order. Moving over to YouTube, Bronco says it's just a matter of time before Domino's makes a deal with the delivery apps to help solve their driver delivery problems. 
Papa John's has both their own drivers and delivery app drivers to handle their workload. PJ's has been doing it that way for a while now. And I agree. I know they've been doing that for at least two to three years, maybe even longer, because that's when I started seeing it in my personal market. And Michael has a pretty interesting comment to add to the conversation. He says, I don't know what's funnier. They took a swipe at the food order apps by buying all those gift cards to say, oh, look at all those delivery fees you pay or that they themselves now are having to ask people to not have their order delivered because they're suffering a driver shortage. So Michael is saying apparently as part of their advertising campaign at some point, they ordered a bunch of food on these apps just to show like how high the delivery fees are. And this time around, now they're begging customers to come and pick up their food and we'll give you a discount for it. That's kind of a hypocritical and uh, he does bring up a good point. So with all that being said, this puts Domino's and not even just Domino's, but pizza places in general in a pretty interesting situation because uh, some of them are using the delivery apps, but uh, some of them aren't. So what's going to be the new norm for the pizza delivery industry in the very near future? Are they going to have to start hopping on these apps, all of them? to uh, kind of survive or are they going to keep coming up with tactics like this to stay off of them or are they going to raise their rates to uh, stay competitive in the driver market because currently what they're doing isn't working because people if they're interested in driving food around from point a to point b and doing delivery well obviously they're picking the delivery apps instead of uh, driving for Domino's and other pizza places hence the driver shortage. But we would love to hear your thoughts on the matter in the comments section below. Of course, after bringing up DoorDash so many times in this video, I'd be remiss not to mention that we actually do have a video on how much DoorDash is paying in 2022 right here. So check out that video by clicking on it right here. You can see exactly how much DoorDash pays and what they have to offer. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and hit that bell notification if you want to be notified when we drop another video. This is Elijah, signing off.